typical day will be flying down to DC, then down to Atlanta, and then somewhere out in the Southeast. Every two months or so, I have an international trip, which will take me anywhere from Asia to Europe to South America. We're presently in Hartford, Connecticut, and we're at Bradley Winslocks Airport. So the flight today should be pretty uneventful. Uh, I'm thinking about an hour to get down there. Flying's always been exciting. Just the other week, flying through an uh, overcast day, snowy out of the Northeast. You get on top of the clouds, it's a beautiful sunny day. That to me as a kid, as an adult, that's always been the coolest thing. And uh, you know, it's just real enjoyment. Ultimately, I'm getting the satisfaction of also getting my passengers to their destination. And again, you, you see it on their faces. You see it when you get them there on time or early. We serve the top 20 folks in the corporation for their worldwide travel. As you can imagine, they're pretty busy people. Um, they try to cram a lot into, uh, into a trip. And really, the purpose of these airplanes is a productivity tool. We save our executives time. That's what we do. If you've looked at aircraft over the last 10 years or so, over the life of an aircraft, nothing has been more dynamic than the connectivity space. It just grows leaps and bounds. My passengers in the cabin, um, for them, it's a business tool. You know, you have people who have four different devices, plus the crew. It's just phenomenal with what the industry has had to cope with in terms of maintaining connectivity. As a beginning private pilot back in the day, you're pretty much dialing up with a dial modem through a phone system, looking at the weather, and then printing it out. And that weather may have changed the time that you took off. And nowadays, you're getting that current weather as you go. So it looks like the weather's okay, the briefing's complete, and we've checked to make sure that the internet works properly today. Having the connectivity in the aircraft, it just really opens up the world as a pilot. You're able to stay ahead of weather and get the sense of the big picture of how things are developing. And ultimately that affects our passengers that we can give them better customer service. If you look at the highest speeds today, whether it's Luxstream or anything else that provides KA, KU band connectivity, you really are literally seamless between working in your office and working on the plane. You cover the world. That's a capability that you just could not do without satellites. Our passengers count on it. They count on being able to do work in their aircraft. So if we want to give the best world-class service, we need to make sure that that is reliable.